Hello and welcome to another CSS tutorial. In this tutorial, we will work with text opacity or text transparency and the image opacity. So those are the couple things that I want to look at. So to get started with this process, let's click on the document, the CSS document. Let's first quickly look at the image opacity. So in order for you to make uh, increase the opacity or the semi-transparency of your image, in CSS you can use an opac a opacity property here, and then you can give it a value between 0 and 1. So if the value is, let's say, 0 0.4, and as I refresh, check my left image, which is this image, and you can see that it is lighter than the image to the right, because I applied it to only that one. Now let me increase it to 8, 0 0.8. Now let me refresh and you can see it is not as, as semi-transparent. So the smaller the number, the more semi-transparent the image is. The larger the number, the closer it is to the one, <coughs> the lesser, the, the more uh, uh, vibrant and the more true the image is going to get and it's going to be less and less transparent. Now let's switch over to this uh, document, CSS document where we can learn about how to make your text go transparent. Before I do that, let me go up to this home H3 and change the background color to the background image property. And let me give this an image of lightbg.jpg. I have that image in my folder, lightbg.jpg. I want you to see the effect of that. It's a bluish image, and you can still see that it's a whitish text on top of this uh, sort of kind of a bluish image. Now, when you apply the transparency effect, it's called the alpha. So in the color, instead of using RGB, you use RGBA, red, green, blue, and alpha. So now if I give my alpha a number that is closer to zero, let's say 0.4, and I refresh, you will see that it's going to be more reflective of the background. So it's going to be more reflective of one of the colors I'm going to pick from the background. If I give it a sort of kind of a higher number, then it's going to keep its color more true to its original color, which is white, with a blend of the color from the background. So it's totally your choice if you want to blend more into the background or less in the background. So that's, that's control uh, with a value between 0 and 1 for the alpha. Now let me change the background to something that is more um, blackish than bluish because blue there is nothing blue going on here. So here I have something blackish. So as you can see, it has a tint of gray to the white. It's not pure white. So if I change it back to 0.4, you can see that it goes much darker. So that's what basically this effect allows you to do. Um, as I change it back to 0.8 and refresh it, you can see it's, it's much lighter in shape. So that's the transparency effect, the opacity effect with the text and the images. Thank you for watching this tutorial. 